What's good, y'all? I'm Chief the OG, back again with another episode of Rich Before 30 Podcast. Today, we're continuing on Chapter 2, Action, in the book Rich Before 30 by Gavin Chief Meredith. Last episode, we focused on speaking about how no one can hand you success. Today's topics will focus on changing the way you think, thinking positively, practicing your power of belief, and just getting started now. We will now continue with Chapter 2, Action, in the book Rich Before 30 by Gavin Chief Meredith. If you're reading along, we're beginning on page 69. I was able to make real change in my life and start to finally get rich when I learned that it's not about how much you have, but it's about what you do with what you do have. This is the key to all happiness and all success. The way you think is going to help you more and serve you better than just having a bunch of bullshit knowledge that you have no use for. The key is to have a positive attitude and think positively. The person with positive thinking and a positive attitude will always make more than a person with a negative attitude and negative thinking. A person can have all the degrees in the world, but end up working for others the rest of their life. Someone with this massive amount of knowledge should be able to open and grow their own empire. But that is not always the case. This person with all these degrees can go on to work for someone who never went to college. This happens because one person has belief they can do it. It's better to use your mind to think than it is to use it as a storage shed for facts. People say knowledge is power. The truth is, knowledge is only powerful when you put your knowledge into action. Look for reasons you can get things done, as opposed to looking for reasons you can't. Luck doesn't exist. Hard work and positive attitudes lead to successful situations. Develop hard work and positivity and find that success comes from practice of these qualities. Fear is the main thing holding you back, but recognizing what it is that you actually fear is the hard part. Fear can make you lose out on opportunities and even become physically sick. Fear will always prevent you from getting what you want in life. And before we continue, take note of this quote. Failure to prepare is preparing to fail. Every action has a reaction, and every happening has a cause. No one is born with confidence. Confidence is gained. You, too, can gain confidence. Action cures fear. Once you finally do that thing that you were so afraid to do, there is no longer fear of it. What will you do to correct your situation? Hope will not do it. Get busy doing. Whatever it is. Once you start doing it, it'll be easier to do it over and over again. For instance, you're a photographer and you want to take photos of models as your profession. And yet you haven't taken any photos of not a single model. It will be hard for you to get work. Really, who wants to hire someone with no experience? It's okay to be inexperienced. But just get started now. What can you do to conquer your fear? If you don't think you dress well enough, make sure you're always well-groomed. You can also make sure that when you do get dressed, you're presentable to your own standards. Don't be afraid of things out of your control. Enjoy the moment and make the most of it. Never fear people, for people are just humans, just like you. Isolate your fear and find what it is that you are afraid of. Maybe an old memory is holding you back. You think of negative thoughts and all the times you failed. Instead of thinking of these thoughts when you're trying to get going, you must recall times when you have succeeded and positive things have happened. Remember, you control whether you're bringing up negative or positive memories. Take control, and you will gain confidence from recalling and only storing positive thoughts in your memory. This will help you stay mentally and physically healthy. Don't build a memory monster. A memory monster is a memory that you give power over your life and let control your thoughts and actions negatively. Bad memories want to be forgotten. Forget them. And your confidence and feeling of happiness will skyrocket. Most people don't understand the proper way to think. You can have all the knowledge in the world, but if you don't know how to think properly, you'll never be able to use your knowledge to its full potential. The key is to always think positively. How someone with a whole bunch of degrees ends up working for someone who never graduated college is the person who didn't graduate college has belief in their dream and that they can accomplish their dream. And anybody not willing to make their dream come true 
you'll end up working to make someone else's dream come true. It's much better to use your brain for thinking than as a storage shed for facts. People say knowledge is powerful, but knowledge can only be powerful when it's put into action. So you can only be powerful when you put your knowledge into action. You can have all the knowledge in the world, but if it's just sitting in your mind and you're not putting it into action, no one, not even yourself, will be able to see the power of your knowledge. Begin giving yourself reasons that you can get things done instead of reasons you can't. Rid of this idea of luck. Luck comes to people who place themselves in successful situations. Luck comes to those who work hard and think positively. Work hard, think positively, and put yourself in successful situations, and luck will come to you. Fear can make you lose out on opportunities and even become physically sick. You must find what it is that you are afraid of and conquer that fear. Conquer your fears with action. Prepare yourself for success. Failing to prepare is preparing to fail. In the book, I give the example of a photographer who wants to be a photographer professionally and take pictures of models, but has yet to take any photos of any models. It'd be in this photographer's best interest to just get started. Sitting around moping and hoping is not gonna do anything for you. You gotta get out there, you gotta interact. Figure out a way and get it done. But most importantly, get started now. Always make sure the way you look and everything you do is presentable to yourself and your standards. In life, we usually recall the moments where we failed and call on those to give us strength to know what to do next. Instead, we should call on the moments of success, times where we were successful and we've won and we did positive things in our life and forget about the negative moments. We should recall the positive times to give us strength and empower the idea in our minds that we can do. Thinking like this will help you take control and rid of any memory monsters, which is basically a memory that you build up to be this big monster in your mind. You give this memory monster power over you and your emotions. These negative memories want to be forgotten. Forget them. In closing, think positively and your confidence will skyrocket. If you haven't already, be sure to pick up a copy of my book, Rich Before 30 by Gavin Chief Meredith. I'm Chief The OG. This is the Rich Before 30 podcast. See you next time. Thank you.